Hey everyone, welcome back to my build. Today I've been spending some more time doing the welding, uh, trying to get caught up back with the chassis as to where I was. Um, I spent some time this morning already working on the, the front pieces I needed to tie in, and now I'm working on the door. So here we have the, um, the front bars. I still need to come in here and clean it up. I think I always say that, but I still need to clean up the bars. But I've tied in uh, those two bars there. They've been tied up. So now they, they meet the, um, the crossbar there. And then I also added in a second bar up at the top. I have this one and the, the cross coming down to tie that in. And uh, I also worked on this side. Again, I put a top bar here to tie a cross um, only because my suspen upper suspension um, bar right here needs to tie into something. So to help keep it from twisting in or out in the back, I'll tie it to this main beam here. And then I have a lower one here so I can get a nice 45 um, bar coming up onto that. So you can see some more of um, that bar there I tied back in. Um, so now what I've been doing is I'm figuring out where I wanna put the crossbars. This is gonna be a, a two by three um, tube that goes from the A support there to the B, um, actually the, the angular tube right here. And you can see where the blue tape is, the top of that will be the top portion of the, um, the tubing. It'll be on its side, so it'll be three inches, like in this direction, two inches thick. Uh, that'll hopefully give me some nice side support. And I left it about maybe a half inch or so um, below the bottom of the door and that'll give me a chance to put the bar in and then cover that with some fiberglass and then come up uh, Kind of hard to see from this angle, but it'll come up and then go up across this way, which will supply um, su Give me a spot to put the weather stripping all the way around it on the door there Well, I've been making some really good progress. I got the I got that sidebar in, it's all welded up. Um, I wanted to continue on and put in the braces today for the middle of this, but I will give you a word of advice. When you get done welding this, and it's really hot, don't try and retouch something that's over there because you end up with a really nasty arm burn. And uh, so yeah, that ended my day today because my arm is killing me. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow, but I should be back out. Um, so, but made some good progress. I got that all cut up. I got the other side roughly cut. I cut them a little big and then I fit them in. So that way there's a mock here and there's a mock over there. Once I get them to fit in nice and tight, then I'm happy. Then I'll stop. And I actually brought this bar all the way across and you can just barely see it out here. So it gives me a little extra welding surface in the back there. So making some good progress until this happened. So um, this ended my day today while I go attend some medical conditions for my arm and uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Well, welcome back to this crazy New England weather. This morning there was frost on the ground and now it's almost 60 degrees, 70 degrees. I don't know how warm it is, but it's beautiful out. Perfect day for working in the garage. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. So, um, oh, I should start off with saying that um, when you're when you're welding, cutting, grinding, any of that stuff, pay attention to what you're doing. As soon as you stop wondering what you're doing and you go off somewhere else, you get burned. So I have a nice burn on my arm, which will probably take some time to heal. But anyway, if I was paying attention, it probably wouldn't have happened. So. All right, uh, lecture's over, so back to the build. So today, um, I did some more work in here. I got this finished welding up, the, the crossbar, and then I put in two lateral supports here, just to kind of tie it in there. Um, once I know for sure exactly where the door is going, I am gonna put one more brace right there, just to kind of tie in that corner. Um, Sneak over to the other side here. 
and um, I've also done, oops, uh, I've also done this side the same thing. Uh, that's all welded in. Let me get back to the other side and I'll show you something. So what I what I did was I took a piece of 62,000 thick, which is the same gauge as the steel I'm going to use, and I set back. You can't really see it, but I set back this bar and this bar. So when I come in here and put the the um, the steel to close it in, I can actually inset it, so it'll be nice and flush on the outside. And I'll do the same thing here, and I'll figure out that corner there. Um, so one of the other things I did work on today is I finished welding up the some bars over there that I had I had to finish and then I made some spacer pieces for this bar here and this bar here. So let's probably see it better from this side. So now that's connected and that's connected. So I'm pretty much back to where I were was uh, some time ago. Um, Tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, it's on Columbus Day, so we have it off, uh, no work, yay. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna work on the, the fiberglass part or if I'll actually stop working on the front suspension. Um, have to see what my mood is in the morning. Hey guys, well, it's Monday. Um, I came out to the garage just for a little while. Uh, I'm gonna do some other stuff today, but I did wanna play with the car a little bit. So the first thing I did was I went over and I attached my my level to the bottom of the frame because I wanted to measure from the bottom of the frame to the very point, uh, where is it, right here, um, on this car. And same thing in the front on the center line because Wayne was nice enough to give me some dimensions off his OEM car. And the front was perfect. It's right at, uh, what's, what's the number there? Um, 24 and three quarters from the bottom of the frame up to the center point there. And somebody else will have these as reference if they want them. And then from the top of this point to the bottom of the frame, which is actually the top of my level, is um, 38 and three quarters. I write it down so I don't forget it. So it's 38 and three quarters for this. And now I got the roof sitting at the right height so i have a, a dilemma maybe you guys can can help me out here um i'll show you with the tape measure so at the bottom here if if the top is sitting in the right place which i'll know later on when i put the door on i have to make sure that the point of the door is to the center line of the tire um, i have a rough dimension of what it should be so I'm gonna measure that, and as long as the roof is in the right place, so. For this example, let's, let's assume that it is. At the bottom, from the back of the firewall here to the back of the, of the fiberglass firewall, I have about a, an inch and a half, so let's say an inch and three, an inch and a quarter to give it a little bit of space there. And then at the top, it would be an inch and three quarters. So do I leave it like that or do I cut it out here and then angle it back, maybe raise it up three quarters of an inch because at three quarters of an inch, it would sit pretty close to the top of the fiberglass. Or do I just say to hell with it and leave it? Uh, my OCD starts kicking in and I want to fix things, but it's easier to fix it now than it is later. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, send me an email or comment or whatever and let me know. Should I fix it? Should I leave it alone? Um, well, oh, just so everybody knows what my plan is, is I'm going to run, once I get this in the right spot, I'm going to run a bar going across the whole thing. Um, I'm actually going to cut this little lip out um, so it's flat here. I'm going to put the bar right up against it so the fiberglass will sit on top of the bar and then everything down below will be the um, 62 thick, I can't remember what the gauge number is on that, but the 62 thick steel will fill in all that back there. So that'll be a structural structural point of the car. And um, so that will be the break edge where 
the steel will come right up to that tube and the top will basically rest on top of that. It'll give me a nice spot to put um, some weather stripping or some, um, some uh, sealant to seal the outside from the inside. Uh, but that'll be a little bit later in the future. So anyway, let me know what you think about the firewall here. I'll show you quickly in the front what's going to happen is um, you can see that on the OEM part, it curves like this. So I actually have the steel coming around if this is in the right spot. So what I'm going to have to do is just trim this lip just a little bit. So this will sit down a little. You can see right. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. But in the middle, it's sitting flush up here. It's a little high just because it's catching right here on this corner lip right there. Just the radius. So I'll clean that up on both sides. It'll drop down. And then that'll be good. So again, let me know what you guys think about the rear firewall. Leave it, change it. Doesn't matter. Stop being stupid, whatever. And uh, we'll go from there. Don't forget to this. If I cut this window out right now, you'll see the... So thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, like and follow. And I will talk to you probably in two weeks because next week I won't be in the garage that much. I got something I got to take care of. So it'll probably be two weeks before you see another update.